I'm still trying to figure out what just happened back there. Uh, I, I must have blacked out or something. No pun intended, seeing as I'm obviously, you know, black. <laughs> there are actually about a dozen of us here. <laughs> well, I'm a Republican, so I don't count. <laughs> but the other 11 have all been vetted and approved by the NAACP. <laughs> Just like Donald Sterling was. <laughs> Hashtag awkward. <laughs> No, but Tuck's a really inclusive place. Like, the students here love telling me how many black friends they have. It's like, wow, they're like, James, you're number four. <laughs> like, wow, you're 30 years old and I'm number four? <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> what I really love is when they start trying to describe someone to me who's obviously black, but they're afraid to say it because they think it sounds racist. So they'll start using all these weird descriptors, and I have to pretend I have no idea who they're talking about. <laughs> How far they go. They're like, James, do you remember that guy from yesterday? Uh, he was, well, he had really white teeth. <laughs> no? no. Uh, he had on a pair of purple gaiters. Is that what you people call them? You call them gaiters? Mm, not, not ringing a bell. So then they get desperate, so they start like naming celebrities. Oh, well, he looked a little bit like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Alright, enough about me. Uh, I'm here to present the award for Best Ensemble. And the winner is... Section X-Men!